Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at lobbytools.com. Hopefully her car seat. Tajara Howard has a one-year-old daughter. For now, she rides in a car seat. <laughs> but Howard says once she turns four, she'll move to a booster seat. It's the safest thing. I don't yeah. want to not have a car seat and then something happen. <laughs> Howard says she'll keep the booster seat until her daughter's six. Florida law only requires a booster seat for kids five and under, but new legislation would raise the age to six and under. Just put a $20, $30 booster seat and, and potentially save kids from uh, long-term disabilities and traumatic brain injuries we've seen that last a child their whole life. The National Highway Transportation Safety Administration recommends kids seven and under be restrained in booster seats. But bill supporters hope raising the age gradually will give the legislation a better chance of passing. But House Transportation Subcommittee Chairman Brad Drake says he doesn't intend to give the bill a hearing, arguing the government shouldn't be playing parent. I'm not real comfortable with the government making those, those choices that belong to the parents. Mary Lynn Colon has been advocating for the change for years. The fight's not over yet. She points out that the $60 fine in the bill can be waived if the parent takes a booster seat safety course. This really is a learning bill. It's not a gotcha bill. Supporters of the bill hope opponents have a change of heart, arguing the more time that passes, the more kids stand to be injured or even killed in accidents. In Tallahassee, I'm Jake Stofan.